Hi everyone, welcome to Carmen's Australian Storytime. Today we're reading the book called We're Stuck and it's written and illustrated by one of my favourites, Sue DeGenero. Now this book was shortlisted for this year's CBCA Awards and that means it's a new book and not many people would have read this book yet, but it's a fantastic book. Let's have a look at the blurb and see what it tells us. The blurb. When Turtle races into the lift of Building 24, there is a nod and a blink and a step to the side, a grunt and a sigh and a lean to the right. But what happens when the lift in Building 24 stops moving? This blurb does not tell us very much at all. I wonder why Turtle is rushing. Why is there a nod, a blink, a grunt, a sigh and a lean to the right? Why does the lift stop moving? I am so curious to find out. Turtle's mum handed him a list. It was of the utmost importance and he tucked it deep inside his pocket. Turtle raced out the door. He didn't want to be late. This is apartment building number 24. Each unit inside will have its own number. What number do you think the top floor will be if the ground floor is number one? Yes, it will be the sixth floor. Can you tell me who lives on the third floor? Yes, it is Crocodile and I'm guessing Giraffe because He's got a very long neck and the head is not even in the picture. They all look very busy in their apartments. I wonder where Turtle is going. In building 24, on the busy side of town, everything ran like clockwork. Every morning the lift would fill, but with everyone in such a rush, the most they ever exchanged was a simple nod of their heads. What does it mean when everything runs like clockwork? It means the same things happen at the same time each day. It looks like everyone is off to work for the day. Can you tell by their clothes what jobs they do? Where do you think Turtle is going? I think he's going to school. There was a nod and a blink and a step to the side. How many animals can you count getting on the elevator? How sad that they are all too busy to talk to each other. Do you talk to your neighbours? A grunt and a sigh and a lean to the right. Okay, so it really does look like they are running out of room. I am super glad I don't have to get into a lift full of animals each day. Which animal is the tallest? And which is the smallest? There was a little shuffle forward and a little shuffle back and they all squeezed in. Then... So there is a lion, a hippo, a turtle, a whale, a pelican, a crocodile and a giraffe in the lift. Can you put these animals into alphabetical order? What is the first letter in each of their names? This is my favourite page in the book. There's not even any words, but it tells us so much. Imagine how you would feel if the lights went out and you were in a lift. I would be pretty frightened, but I'm a bit of a scaredy cat. Don't tell anyone. How many pairs of eyes should there be? If you count in twos and there's seven on the lift, there should be 14, but there are only 13. Do you know why? Well, if you have a look at the page before and where they're standing in the lift, you can see that the whale has got such a big face and is turning side on, we can only see one of his eyes. When the lights came back on, it was Whale who said, We are not going up and we are not going down. We're stuck. This won't do, said Crocodile in a huff. I have a meeting to get to. And I have a shop to open, called Hippo. 
I have a doctor's appointment, sneezed Giraffe. Achoo! And I need to get to the hairdresser, complained Lion. All together, in one loud chorus, they yelled. And I can't be late. Call the fire brigade. Call the police. Call for help now. Do you think Turtle would be frightened now? Everyone is yelling and worrying about themselves. It's always better if you can stay calm and make sure everyone is okay instead of yelling and worrying about yourself. But the mumbling and grumbling, the whining and complaining kept getting louder until Turtle burst into tears. <laughs> it's my birthday today, he cried, pulling the list out of his pocket, and everyone fell silent. Poor Turtle, it's his birthday and he's stuck in a lift. Why do you think everyone fell silent? How do you think they are feeling right now? I don't think I'd feel very good. Nobody's taken any notice of poor little Turtle. Soon the lift was filled with a gentle wave of whispers. What do you think they are all whispering about? Can you make a prediction and guess what they are discussing? I predict that they are all feeling bad and they would like to make Turtle feel better. Crocodile was first. She pulled a pair of plastic gloves from her pocket and started to blow and blow. Hippo grabbed the newspaper and started to twist and turn, tuck and fold. Whale helped Giraffe who was holding a long piece of string. Why do you think Crocodile has a bag with plastic gloves in it? What do you think Hippo is making with the newspaper? And what do you think Giraffe and Whale are making? Everyone got busy. It was Pelican who remembered what he had in his lunchbox and on the count of three, everyone shouted. Everyone is working together to try and make things for something. Have you guessed what they are doing? What do you think Pelican had in his lunchbox? One, two, three. <coughs> surprise! Oh, wow. They have planned a birthday surprise for Turtle. The newspaper was party hats and the string was for the balloon gloves. What a wonderful idea. I love the cake as well. But I am not sure about eating it out of a pelican's beak. Ugh. They are all so kind and Turtle looks so happy. There were cheers and giggles. Whale told Lion she was a hairdresser and got straight to work. And Giraffe had her allergies checked by Crocodile, who was no longer worried about being late. No one even noticed how much time had passed until... What? All the people they needed to see are already there. Whale could cut lion's hair. Crocodile was a doctor, so Giraffe could help her allergy, get her allergies checked. Pelican and Hippo are having a great chat, and Turtle is being the doctor's helpful assistant. Nobody has even noticed how much time is passing. In broke the firemen, one by one, but no one seemed to notice. The firemen shook their heads as Whale shook their hands. Realising there was no real emergency, the firemen helped themselves to a slice of cake and a cup of tea. The firemen have finally arrived, but nobody is worried about being stuck anymore. I just love they all decide to hang out together. Have you ever been stuck somewhere and had to pass the time? What did you end up doing? And in building 24, on the busy side of town, nothing was ever the same again. Why do you think nothing was ever the same in building 24? I think they have all become good friends and now that they know each other, they actually enjoy hanging out with each other. Sometimes we just have to make the most of a bad situation. Life is so much nicer with friends to share it with. 
If you don't know your neighbours, maybe you can ask your dad and mum if you can say hello to them or do something nice for them. It was so great that you were a part of my story time today. This book is so wonderful and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Oh, and the dog that joined me did. Please comment and subscribe as the feedback really helps me to read the books that you like and make my readings better. See you again soon.